Reducing the size of your application is a very good and important point for your Android application development because it provides so many benefits. For example, reduced storage requirement, faster app downloads, and better user experience. So, hi everyone, this is Puneet Grover. Welcome to Coding with Puneet. And today I will tell you about six ways to reduce your Android application size. So, whether you are a new person or an experienced person, reducing your application size is always a good idea and important to do that. So, let's get started and see how. Do that. First point is use ProGuard. What is ProGuard? See, ProGuard is a way to remove unused resources. Now, if we are removing unused resources, that means we are reducing the application size. And not only that, ProGuard also make it harder to reverse engineer your application. That means it is also better in terms of the security. It not only reduce your application size, but also increase the performance in terms of reducing the size as well as improving the security. Now, second point is use APK Analyzer. Now, what is APK Analyzer? APK Analyzer is a tool in your Android Studio to see what is inside in your Android application package. That means in your Android APK. It actually helps you to find and identify which files are taking up so much extra space and then you can take up an action or identify and fix the scenarios so that your application size can be reduced. For example, there is an image which is taking so many extra space. You can find some alternative way or can replace that with less size of the image. So there are so many things we can do with the help of APK Analyzer. For example, it can be used to inspect the code, assets, images and so many things that are there in your application package. Now third very important point is use Android App Bundle. Now what is Android App Bundle? See, for now or maybe currently we might be using the APK to upload Load our application on the Play Store. But instead of that, now we have something else that is some other publishing format provided by Google that is your AAB Android application bundle. Now what happens here is Android app bundle is actually here to help developers reduce the application size and improve the application performance. So now how you can do that? So whenever we upload AAB on Google Play Store, it actually generates a unique APK depends on your device configuration. That means every device will get their own resources dimensions and so on which means it significantly reduce the application size so it is better and recommended now to use AAB Android application bundle. Now fourth very important and very quickly doable is remove unused resources. See Android Studio provides a tool known as resource shrinking which actually helps to remove the unused resources, libraries, code and everything so that it can improve the app performance by reducing the application size. Make sure to use that. Now our next very important step is use vector driver. See now what is vector driver? Vector driver is just a type of image which doesn't lose quality when scaled and it is recommended to use vector images instead of the bitmap or other type of images for example png or jpg because it takes very less space in your android application package. Now if I go to the technical terms it is made up of mathematical equations and lines which makes the file sizes of the vectors very very easy. There are so many benefits of the vector images over for example we can easily modify that. Uh, because it's just a kind of XML and we can directly change the XML and we can see the different colors and so many things we can do that with the help of vector images. So make sure to use vector images instead of the bitmap images. Now the last but not least sixth very important point is use dynamic feature module. Now what is dynamic feature module? See a feature module which is downloaded dynamically but not initially. That means it helps to reduce the initial download size of your application. Now how it can be done? Whenever a user download the application initial base application is downloaded and the modules which can be loaded later on demand that is dynamic feature download that is dynamically loaded on demand only and this is how it reduce the application size mainly the initial size and also it provides a more customer's experience for your android application and this is how we can reduce our application size apk size and there are so many things i have explained and out of these six you can use any point or all or combinations of all these points and let me know if you have any other point to reduce the application size. If you like this video, please do subscribe to Coding with Puneet and share with your friends so that they can also reduce the application size and increase their customer experience. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.